Good morning, guys. It is 6.57 on this beautiful Saturday morning. And I'm here earlier than I want to be because I don't start until eight o'clock. But since it is Saturday, I'm hoping that the day goes well. And we about to go into this post office and let's see what it's looking like. Our mail is not here yet because it normally be right there. together for the street that I'm about to do so this is my DPS and the DPS is basically the mail and the flats are it goes with the DPS but this is more like magazines you know different type of brochures mail. so them two go together and then I'll just get my packages as you can see I don't really have any packages on this street so that's a good thing because normally my packages from this block alone be so heavy that uh, I'll be having to make more than one trip back to get the parcels. And when I say parcels, parcels are basically our packages. So now I'm just writing their address number on them because I don't always know the number for the house and I don't want to give the wrong package to the wrong house because that's a big no-no because you do have people that does that by accident they don't mean to but sometimes some of our blocks have the same numbers and it might have a different street name but it'll have the same number so if you're moving really too fast you can tend to make an accident so if you don't want to make an accident just write the number down make sure you look at the name of the street and then it's easy you just deliver so I got everything I need and now I'm ready to go and hit my first loop hey guys welcome back to your girl's channel so as y'all can see I am dressed up for don't be in my video as y'all can see I am dressed up for the post office so today is a day where I am working at the post office and I wanted to make this video for those of you who are thinking about applying for the post office and y'all just not sure if it's gonna be a good fit for you I am here to help you get a better understanding if you want to really apply or not I am NOT going to knock the post office because like I said I've been here going on five years 
I'm just gonna give you my input on my experiences. I can't speak for anyone else because some people love this job. <laughs> like they really love this job. And you have some people who are just doing it for a paycheck and doing it to provide for their family. And I am on the fence of both where I like my job, I'm not in love with my job. No, I'm not. I am not one of those, like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I love this job. No, I do feel like it's something else out there for me. And I'm still searching for that. But until I find what it is I'm in search for, I am not going to let the post office go because the post office, I've been here for quite some time and it looks good on my resume. It looks good when I'm applying, you know, for owning a home someday or anything dealing with you where they want to see a background they want to see how you get your income like you buying a car you know things in that sort so i keep the post office for them reasons um one thing i do like about the post office i can honestly say that i feel like i have my freedom when i'm working i don't have no one standing over me i don't have a boss you know clocking my every move they do monitor you on the scanners, but it's not like they like, oh, she's supposed to be here at this time or she's supposed to be here at that time. It's not like that. If they need to get in touch with you and they can't reach you on your phone, they normally do everything on the scanners. So that's pretty cool because I work jobs where the bosses will stand over you like at Walmart. The bosses will stand over you or they'll be just standing there looking at your every move and not helping you they just staring at you and I don't like to be stared at for too long like I just don't I don't care if I'm at work I don't care if it's my social life like most of the time like anybody like if people staring at you for too long you either want to know what's up or like can you can I help you and that's just me like I'm quick to be like like what's up like you, you got a question and with this job it's not like that they don't they don't stare and they're not really like they let you do your own thing like you're free and they treat you like an adult but you do be having some some offices that want to be real slick and i feel like sometimes people that's in management or in the higher up forget where they started from you know your girl <laughs> you know i have to keep reminding people sometimes but for the most part everything be cool um one thing i can say that do be a bother or really gets to me um is the hours most of the time the hours be cool like now put in my i put in that time uh i go from i'm from 8 to 4 30 and you know but before i had a route and before i became a regular i was coming in at eight and i didn't know what time i was going home or I'll come in at 9.30 and I didn't know what time I was going home. Some days I can go home early and some days I will be out to like 8, 8 o'clock at night. And that's because when I first started out, I was a CCA. And those are the ones that help me. Like if I feel like I can't do my whole route and I need help, a CCA is the one that's going to fill in for me and help me complete my route. And if I'm not there on a certain day and they need somebody to fill in, they're going to call a CCA, which is a city carrier assistant. Once again, they are like the substitutes. They are like the substitute teachers when it comes to teaching. They make sure that everything is done just like I would do it if I was there. The hours, they would change. Um, I used to be frustrated because I never knew what time I was going home. I wanted to quit. I felt like I couldn't do it. I just, what my body wasn't used to walking all day. My feet were hurt. I would come home and cry because I felt like this is not for me. Like, why did I sign up for this job? And I signed up for this job because I wanted something more stable. I wanted stability. That was my biggest reason of really applying for the post office because I wanted to have something that I was proud to talk about. You know, before I even applied at the post office, I was dancing and I was a little bit like over dancing. Um, I felt like I was, I was just stuck and I wanted something more. I wanted change. 
And, you know, when I applied for the post office, I didn't think that I would even get in. But, you know, I actually did get in. I actually taken the test. Um, I taken the test twice. You do have to take a test to apply for the post office. Um, but it's not a hard test. It's just like common sense. And I know a lot of y'all might don't have common sense. But if you can pay attention, you'll be all right. Because it's basically... You want to know they want to see if you paying attention to an address they want they want to know that you know how to fill out an envelope that's all it is and believe it or not my first time ever taking that test I got like a 70 on it and I applied for jobs but I wasn't getting no call back so I was like I was thinking like maybe I need to you know aim higher so I went and taking the test for the second time and I got an 89 and I felt more confident and I went and started to apply for other, you know, post offices and I got callbacks. I had did like three to four interviews with different um, post offices and I finally got one that I was okay with and I was so excited to be even given the opportunity to work at the post office. But now, mm -mm, no, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm at that stage that I was when I was dancing where I wanted to have change. And, you know, when I started, I didn't have a kid. Now, I have a kid, and I want to be there for my kid, Milestone. Like, I want to be there to watch him grow. I am at a point in my life or at the job where I do have the flexibility to be at the things that I need to be for my son. And that's only because I put in my time, I put in the hard work before I even had a kid. So now it's like a little more smooth sailing for me. But if you are just starting out and you have kids and you don't have a stable support system to help you with your children, then maybe you might want to look into something else. Not saying don't look into the post office. You might want to look at another job title that might work for you. Check the hours out. Look at the description that they have for that job. Because when you do apply for a job in the post office, it do have a description box where it tells you what the job is like. It tells you the hours. It tells you the days that you have off. So make sure when you apply for the post office, you know what you're applying for. Make sure it works with your schedule. Make sure you have the support system that you need to attend to your kids while you are working. And, you know, like I said, if you are planning on being a mail carrier, you're not going to know what time you're going home. You're not. And, you know, it's going to be times that you're going to cry. It's going to be times that you want to quit. It's going to be times that you're just going to throw your hands up and just be like, F this. I've been there. I've done that. Uh, a lot of us have. And sometimes you always got to remember why you're doing it in the first place. You know, at them times, I didn't have a kid, so I didn't, I really didn't care. I just wanted to do it because I didn't want to be telling everybody I'm a stripper. I didn't want that to be the first line I dropped when I'm introducing myself to someone. So now I'm like, I work for the post office. And then everyone always say, oh, that's such a good job. They have great benefits. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But that doesn't mean that should be the number one reason you're staying somewhere where you're not happy. I mean, every job has its good and has its bad, but it's up to you what you're willing to put up with. For me, I am putting up with it because now I do have a kid. Not saying that I can't go and get another job somewhere else, but I feel like right now I done put in my hard work. I done did everything i did did my blood my sweat my tears me injuring myself on the job <laughs> so i feel like i'm gonna stay here until i find something that i feel fits me to get me to where i want to be in another company or still in the post office but doing something more you know that benefits me mail carrier such as myself i do a lot of walking i walk I'll drive to one spot, then I'll park up, take a loop, and then I'll go do that block, then I'll come back, take another loop, and then do the next loop. And when I say loops, that's just basically the blocks. You have a rural carrier who I really don't know much about 
how they do theirs, but I do know they do driving for the most part. They don't walk. They don't know. They might do a little walking, but they ain't. They're they're not like walking as much as I do. I can get in probably over twenty thousand steps. I can do over twenty thousand steps in a day if I had on like one of them, you know, them tracker watches that can track your steps. Yeah, I I can do that. I can honestly say I lost a lot of weight once I started working for the post office because it is an exercise and your body is moving constantly. So you can definitely lose weight. So I don't know if you think that's a pro or a con, but um, I think it could be both. When you first start out like any other job, you don't get the top notch pay. No, you get a decent pay. Um, but as time goes on, they do be giving out raises. Like I think my first year at the post office, I think I probably got like two raises. So that was pretty cool. Cause I was like, okay, keep it coming. Um, I am a part of the union. So the post office do have a union. I recommend, you know, anyone to become a part of the union because they will fight for you. They will help you get the things you need. They are, they basically like your lawyers. like. They gonna make sure you straight. Um, you do pay union dues. It do come out of your checks. I pay union dues. Um, you're gonna pay them if you apply, if you get hired, whatever you choose to do. Um, you need a, you need to be in a union. Like they fight for you. They do. I can honestly say when I got hurt, um, they fought for me. They helped me get the help that I needed. They helped me get you know my pay. Like, so that was a that was a good thing. I know a lot of y'all be like, how are you driving on the opposite side of the road? As y'all can see, I am not driving on the opposite side of the road right here because I am driving a Dodge Ram truck. So this is my truck. You know. Uh but when I first started out, I did drive the little microwave trucks, that's what I like to call it. Um, was it hard for me to, you know, drive on the opposite side of the road? At first, it was weird because I wasn't used to driving on the opposite side of the road. But now, I whip that little microwave like it's no tomorrow. I, <laughs> I drive it just like it's my car. I do. But safe. You have to be safe at all times. You have to be safe. I'm not going to stress that enough. In any job that you apply for, any job that you do, you must be safe. Use your common sense. I know a lot of y'all might don't have that, but use it. Find it. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought. I think a lot of us we get in our own head sometimes, and we make things worse than what it really is. So no, once you get the hang of it, it's not it's not bad at all. I need to be. Oh yeah, packages. You are a newcomer with the post office. You're going to work. Sundays you're gonna work Sundays and I know when I started I was working Sundays not every Sundays it would like rotate and when we did Sundays that was us basically working for Amazon we were delivering Amazon packages because you know Amazon just seems to need so much help <laughs> can you imagine how that is on our shoulders like this is our bag you get this bag right here this bag and they expect for everything to be fitting in that bag but it's it's not and you're gonna probably have to keep coming back to your truck to get more stuff to put in that bag so don't feel overwhelmed okay this is my scanner this is the scanner where they can track me like me sitting here doing this video right now they probably like well why is she sitting because it's lunch you do get a 30 minute lunch. Um, it's not really a set time when you should take your lunch. Um, it's up to you when you wanna take your lunch, but make sure you take your lunch because even if you don't take a lunch, they are gonna take that 30 minutes. So I recommend you taking your lunch. Even if you wanna just snack, give your body a chance to relax a little bit before you have to keep walking and walking and walking and walking because you're gonna burn out. 
that way. You are definitely going to burn out that way. And who wants to do that? No one. When I deliver mail, I make sure that I have gloves in my truck because, uh, you know, a lot of porches that you do go on, you know, you just touch your mail, you touch your people's porches, and I don't like to be touching mail or anyone's mailbox with my bare hands because some people's porches be very like, it looks, it looks like something I don't want to touch. So I definitely recommend you wearing gloves. I have just given you guys my experiences. I am only being honest with you. I am keeping it a hundred with you because these are the things that you do go through as a mail carrier. You're going to get angry customers. You're going to get angry dogs. You're going to get all kinds of different reptiles and things that you didn't even know exist pop up on you while you are delivering mail. But you also get the customers that are sweet, so I'm about to go and do my next loop because it's like time is winding down and it's almost time to clock out. Hey guys, thank you for joining me as a day in my life as a mail carrier. I truly appreciate you guys. I hope you like this video. If y'all have any questions that I did not answer, make sure y'all comment below. Subscribe to your girl's channel, turn on your notification, like, comment, share. See you guys soon.